feel so much and to go through this. I mean, everything, 22 years down the drain. Many Koreans who yesterday were the shopkeepers of South Central Los Angeles today have lost the businesses they took years to create. What can I say? Uh, you know, I don't have any word to say. That's really a comeback, John. George Huang woke this morning to find his mini mall burnt to the ground. A loss of a million and a half dollars and a lifetime of dreams and effort. I don't mind that. Whatever they need to take it out. But why they burn out the property? That's, I don't, that's my question. 41 Korean businesses in South Central have been torched, dozens looted. In this overwhelmingly black and Hispanic area, Koreans own many of the small businesses. They're insular, they employ their own, they keep to themselves. Blacks say that's the problem. I'm not surprised that the Koreans got targeted because their prices are high, their attitude is wrong, and they just don't seem to have any respect for the black community. You know how it all started? The first thing when a girl got killed, from the Oriental. March 16, 1991. Latasha Harlins, a black teenager, is shot and killed by a Korean store owner, Soon Ja Du. Du is convicted of voluntary manslaughter, but is sentenced only to parole and a small fine. The black community is outraged and remembers. What, six months probation? Yes. I mean, the people were pissed then. Today, local Korean radio is broadcasting which stores in the area are threatened. Young men like Eddie Kim rush over to try to defend them. I don't care about the racism, I don't care anything. But it's not right, okay? It's not right to break inside and get any stuff. You know? It's not right. I don't think it's right. He Lee spent last night and will spend tonight guarding his appliance store. A small battalion of employees and relatives will try to help. I only have one shotgun. That's all I have. What do they have? They have hundreds of crazy people, hundreds of crazy young people with lots of guns. After the destruction, many Koreans have lost all faith that the authorities can protect them. Well, we hope police can protect but as you see, this uh, you know, shortage of manpower police. Koreans have fanned out across South Central, worried that tonight, with so little left to loot, more of their stores will burn. But even in the midst of the chaos, John Wee is rebuilding. We will continue to serve this community by doing the proper way of business. I don't think this is the, the, the will of the majority of this community. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.